Good morning, class. Welcome back to philosophy, which is, you know, the most important core class. I'm just kidding. Anyway, today we will discuss the Socratic method. Now, I don't believe we will get to the points today, but as I often tell my colleagues, um, one could never really understand all of the points to the Socratic method because they are beyond our intellectual understanding as we do not have all the wisdom that we could possibly have. Well, Socrates would tell us that it is innate and we only need to recollect this knowledge. But, on the other hand, we don't always have to believe Socrates. He was, you know, a century or two or three, you know, ago. Anyway, the first point is dialectic questioning, and then there is regular questioning, in which Socrates is on the move toward understanding through critical inquiry. There is also irony and search for adequate definitions, and at long last we will discover that there is aporia, or that Socrates comes to an impasse. If you want to use base knowledge or that vocabulary, you might say open-endedness, but I would not tell you to use that word in my philosophy papers, because then, you know, that's the difference between an 89 and a 90. 